you have entered the Chronix Rabbit Hole. And Sam, thank you so much for your Patreon request. We are coming back with some Spirit Box, and the song is The Mara Effect. And this is live at Silverside Sound. <laughs> Sam, thank you so much for some context before listening to the song. It is a long one, so bring your popcorn, folks. It's a song with three parts, and the static noise you hear on the intro is a spirit box. The Mara is a demon in Slavic folklore that causes nightmares, inspired by the drummer. And I wrestled a bear once having sleep paralysis. I've had sleep paralysis once, and it looked like the grudge. No bear, though. Thank you so much, Sam. Let us know in the comments below if you have ever experienced sleep paralysis. Because that would be pretty scary <laughs> if it happened. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is.
Part two. Maybe. Oh, yeah.
cool that they have the spirit box playing in between the parts. Oh yes, yeah. that be... Sam let us know that was the spirit box!
I liked that. That ending was very unique as well. Oh. As someone who's been affected by nightmares basically my whole life, especially when I was a lot younger, I had a lot of reoccurring dreams. I've had some mm -hmm. of the sleep paralysis. I've never fought a bear in that state, but the drummer who had um, the sleep paralysis and was fighting a bear, she looked like he was fighting a bear with those drums. Yes. <laughs> Yes, there was so much going on with this oh. song, and like I'm I gone. <laughs> Sam, oh. good job, Sam. Good job, Sam. <laughs> um, this one. Sorry, not sorry. I was really, really happy with her clean vocals. Yeah, they were mm -hmm. phenomenal when she came in. So in part one, when they started. And started with that deep bass at the beginning. I got a lot of like three days grace kind of vibe. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Right. And so I really mm -hmm. like that style, me and too. I really like that deep bass that melodic came in. bass, heavy. That's and what it was stood heavy, out for me too. Very heavy. Yeah. And then her voice came in, but her clean is almost soothing. It was. Like, yeah. Very much like into that falling asleep, very soothing. And I was like, this is awesome. And then her part like of the dream that's nice. That yeah, the part of the dream that's nice. And then her um, growl, her scream came in. Yeah. And I was like, wait a second. Now she's screaming like, oh, my God. And yeah, what a, it was what perfect. What a switch up. And yeah. it was so perfect. So good. Dude. And it, Their switch ups of the band. Oh, my God. And and um, the thing that she was screaming um, and, and also with clean vocals at the very end of part one was. Okay. This is love. Make it stop. Or is this love? At least that's what I was hearing. Okay. okay. And I'm not sure if I misheard it or not. I probably did. But it was almost like falling asleep and falling in that lull and then being like, this is, is okay. this okay? Yeah. But is it not okay? I kind of wanted to stop, but I kind of wanted to yeah, keep going. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't really know what to do right now. You can't like, set boundaries in the nightmare. Things are going weird. Can't set <laughs> exactly. You can't set boundaries in the nightmare. Things are going weird. Yeah. Like what's happening? Yeah. Is this it? Like so? Like it was that very like and then make the... it stop. But that was the specific that I did pick out was make it stop. And then it went into the second phase. And before I get to the second phase, what I love about the staticness is with mm -hmm. dreams, they're always so sporadic. And there's those little lull moments between the dreams that you yeah. have. So that's kind of what I felt like. It felt like we were asleep. We got into REM sleep. And then we started getting a dream. It turned into a nightmare. And then that nightmare mm -hmm. wakes you up into that staticness of like, ah. It's like, and then you kind of lull here, back and into it. Fall back into it. Yeah, that's what I was fucking. Uh, yeah, and I love that they have the spirit box. Actually, I'm gonna have to Google what yeah, exactly what a means. spirit box is. Yeah. Um, but I let love... us know. Let us know. <laughs> Please let us know. So, um, when they had that playing in between the songs with that lull, yeah, and then when that second part came in, there was so much chaos <laughs> in the music. Yeah. And what was happening. But the thing that I really admired was they had an odd time signature. The drums were going all over the yeah, place. Yeah, a few of them. Said. They I were fighting the bear. But her singing stayed the same. Mm -hmm. She was the pinnacle. She was right. the focal point that it kept, kept things moving. Things moving yeah. with that same time signature mm -hmm. while they were all playing different time signatures and having that pure yeah. chaos. Trying to catch up to her almost. Yeah. Yeah. And um and then her growl that came in and the was phenomenal, but the um one I really really want to point out is the the bass, the bass drum on the Oh yeah, on that of uh, the double bass yeah, at the, the end. Yeah, the double bass. For the second part there. The, the yeah. way that they played that where it went da 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 da, da and then silence cuz in a lot of songs yes. you hear that it just keeps going, yeah. that constant rumble, mm -hmm. but having those rests and then Give have it space. It, um he had it so precise in those moments that came in almost like yeah out of the out of blackness out of darkness and just like beat totally you and then disappear because that's what happens you. in those nightmares it, exactly. right exactly and so that was just so powerful for me oh man like i felt like i was in a nightmare <laughs> but yeah. in a like you knew you were safe still so it was such a fun experience i think for me it really like talking about nightmares and things mm -hmm. um my Re the nightmare that I had, which was the worst nightmare I ever had, was literally, I would was in one starting position, and it had to do with my child, so it was always like terrifying right. when it has to do with a kid. No and it was like you're at the one starting position, and you're trying to get to your child. 
Yeah. But then you ended up back at the starting position. And so you could never get there. You're just never getting to that right. pinnacle, to that thing that you need to do. Yeah. And it's all yeah. that anticipation. Of and course. that's what that bass drum was doing to me. It totally. kept resetting me back, resetting me back at that pinnacle. And I was like, oh my God. They were so smart to do it in three parts. Yes. Because if it kept it going, I don't think it would have had the same effect. And that was the Mara effect. And they were hammering that at the yes. end. Oh! love how they hammered that and then going into that third part which yeah. i knew you would love right off the bat with that picking that started oh, when he's what switched. was going on there he like switched guitars <laughs> you know they tightened up their instruments yeah. they gave you that so little groovy. bit of respite yeah 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 that's all me i love it <laughs> and then um the lyric that i picked up is now i can see you for what you are yeah at the beginning of the third part and then it almost felt kind of like a healing kind of like a release kind of like you're getting sure out of that nightmare yeah, yeah yeah and then being able to realize what that nightmare was realize mm -hmm. that demon realize that do. mara effect yeah and being able to scream it to the world because you finally have that release because that's usually when it ends because that's when it ends because i remember in my reoccurring nightmare which was like insane um, this demon thing would be chasing me to a, a to B, like you're saying. Mm -hmm. And then when I got to B, I would have to go into my bed and cover the sheets. But I thought I would have to do that. I actually would have to get to my bed and then look at him as he came to the bed. And then that's what stopped the dreams completely. He had to so it was like, you can't it. get me. Kind of like the Mara effect, even though I don't even know that's what it was. But that was what I was going through this whole mm -hmm. song, which is why like when I came out of it, I was like, eee. Yeah. <laughs> This song was phenomenal. Um, it was it's a long song, sixteen yeah. minutes, almost seventeen, but it's worth every minute it of is. it because it everyone is. in this band is so talented, so talented, and just the way they put it together with those parts and keeping that spirit box, keeping that static, that little bit of respite that keeps you on the unease. It's like that static is is. Yes. Not necessarily a fun place to be in, but it fits the music so well for the story. Some of telling. the best things come out of uncomfortability. Yeah. And that's kind of what I thought came out of this. And uh, we want more Spirit Box, so let mm -hmm. us know what else we should look into. Guide us the correct way down that rabbit hole because mm -hmm. th if they can make, I love long songs because it gives you just so much time to fully experience like whatever story they're trying to throw out. And mm -hmm. I really appreciate this, Sam. And if you guys had a good time with us as well, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel. If you want to see some more Spirit Box, comment down below exactly which one you want with the link there. And also hit that notification bell if you want to make it to some of our premieres moving forward. You also can chat with Thumbnail Lady and I on our Discord. And if you want to get onto that, you can find the link in the description box below. We are now exiting the rabbit hole, folks. Thank you so much for this, Sam. Peace and love. Thank you so much, Sam. God bless y'all. Take care and bye for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Special shout out to all of our patrons and YouTube members. We appreciate all of your support.